Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about baby items that I have so far. We are eight months pregnant now, and do I have chocolate on my face? I think. Anyway, I was having chocolate because in one of the books, there were one of the baby books that I've been reading, they suggest that chocolate helps prevent preeclampsia, so any health reason that tells me to eat more chocolate, I will. So uh, yeah, so today I figured I would kind of show you the baby items that I have now. I've been trying to be pretty minimalistic and kind of go with the flow and then see what I need. Um, and then of course, as a first time mom, I sometimes have moments that I'm like, ah, I don't have anything and I need a million more things. But the point of this video too is for all you mamas out there that have had, you know, one or more kids and are more experts. If you have, you know, suggestions or, you know, tips on things that I do need to get, I feel like now it's time. I'm out of breath and all I'm doing is standing and talking, but I just figured I'd show you kind of what I have. Um, and then I figured then maybe once the baby is here, um, I could kind of like go over what I actually ended up using a ton, what I wish maybe I hadn't bought. But yeah, I'm just making some coffee and let's go through it. Also, I wish you guys could smell the house right now. I know some of you will ask this. This is the Breville espresso machine and Adam and I had been eyeing this for, I wanna say probably three years and we stocked it and went and looked at it at Williams-Sonoma for many, many times. And last year during the pandemic, we finally caved. And I think worth every penny. And one more square chocolate because why not? Huh, Olive, you agree? More food's always better? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start with the, I guess, non-nursery items, which are the big stroller and car seat. Um, I went with the Bugaboo Lynx stroller. Um, after all the research I did, I think I was really into the, uh, just the Nuna. Slightly smaller, um, but it was sold out everywhere. And then like they would have one piece, but not the other. And I obviously wanted the car seat to, you know, go with the stroller. So as I read reviews, I feel like the Bugaboo actually got slightly better reviews. The only thing is that it's, I think like an inch bigger or something, but apparently the maneuverability is better. So I figured Adam would love it too. It is a beautiful stroller. Um, I know that that sounds so weird, but to me, the way a stroller looks is like really important. And then the car seat is Bugaboo, but it's um, in a collaboration with Nuna. So it's the Turtle One. So looks the same as the stroller. They of course go together, but yes, yeah, have some of like the features that the Nuna has. And then as far as a like high chair, feeding chair, um, I wanted something that was going to not be too clunky, um, but you know, I was kind of gonna go with what we have, like such as like furniture and stuff, but also I wanted it to be ergonomical and like, comfortable for the baby. Um, and then our Swedish friend recommended this and then Adam's like, oh yeah, that's the chair I had as a kid. So it's a very Scandinavian chair. It's by, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but Stoke. And, and this little part comes off and then it becomes like kind of a high chair by sitting here. And then you can remove that part and then it becomes like more an adult chair. So it's like the chair that grows with you. So I thought that was neat. So that's what we went for. And so far all of these were baby shower gifts, which um, so, so sweet of everyone spoiling us and the baby. Strollers from my parents. The uh, car seat was from our neighbor. 
and the high chair was gifted to us by our friends who actually threw us the shower. All right, and then moving on over here, we got the dog katat from my super amazing friend who actually recommended it and then I, it was on my list already. So um, she got it in the beautiful white, which is what I wanted. Um, and the beauty, I looked at all the others that, you know, basically kind of a little mattressy thing like this, but that wasn't the dog tot and they actually didn't get as good reviews. And I think the, the cover that you can remove because there's like a zipper um, just wasn't as nice to get on and off. Anyway, basically you're paying for the shape and of course the quality feels so good. So super excited for that. And then the dog tot sitting in this um, bassinet. I feel like a lot of influencers have this one and I've done a lot of research on <laughs> these and this one gets incredible reviews. Um, it's pretty aesthetically pleasing for a bedside bassinet. Um, so what that means is it unzips there and you can have it next to the bed so you can basically just kind of swoop the baby from the bassinet without having to like get up and like picking them up. And considering I'm having a C-section, a lot of people recommended this one. So, so this one will go in our bedroom, of course. And then my dad built us a beautiful like Moses basket that like rocks and looks more old school. So probably have that either downstairs or kind of like near my office, but so cute. I'll show you guys. So this is the one I was talking about. So I found this woven basket sold on Etsy and I just thought it was so pretty. So you can obviously remove this. I think on camera it's coming off a little warmer than it is, but um, basically the stand was like unavailable everywhere um, and it was like $400. And then I showed my dad like a picture of it and kind of like sketched out the measurements and asked if it was something he could do. And he was like, yeah, totally. So. It has like a slight kind of, it rocks. But like minimally, and I heard that that's how you want the baby to rock, not like side to side, because it can make them sick. Yeah, so cute. And I also think that's something that like, we can kind of keep for years as a, especially since my dad made it. And then we move on into her nursery. And I definitely want to show it to you when it's more ready. So I'll just kind of show you items for now. But yeah, we got this Bugle ivory chair from CB2. And i had been eyeing it for months and I loved it. But I couldn't justify the price for just like a fun, you know, kind of sitting chair in a corner. But then I was like, oh, for the baby room, it'll be perfect. And it swivels and Adam thinks it's super comfortable. So that's good. And then in terms of the crib, we don't have the mattress yet that's coming. We're getting the, uh, is it the Newton, the breathable one. So yeah, the crib is the Baby Leto from Pottery Barn and it's just very light natural oak. And then this is the dresser in the same oak, but with white drawers. It's very simple, not very expensive. And that's what I figured. You know, it's not furniture that you're gonna keep for 20 years, so the quality is pretty good. And then for bottles, obviously I'm going to try and um, nurse for as long as I can, but I'm also giving myself the grace to, you know, go with the flow. And if it works, it works. Um, I know so many moms that get, go really hard on themselves when you know, it becomes too difficult or it doesn't work out for them. So, so anyway, apparently these bottles are the closest resemblance to like breastfeeding. And then a lot of people recommended these and said that these were great. So I would just have those two to try out. We do have some formula um, for just the beginning, just in case. And then I've been looking at like super crazy breast pumps that were like, you know, $400 each. Um, and I figured I would start with this one. This one's really inexpensive, the Haka. 
um, but some women swear by these. Um, and it's basically just a, I can't do this with one hand, but basically it looks like that. But it's definitely more manual. There's like no machine involved in this. And I only got one, so. If it starts working out, I'll get two. So you have obviously one for each boob and you have to wait for one to be done. And then I got the Medela breast milk storage bags. And says these are great. This is obviously considering that I have a crazy supply, which again, who knows? <laughs> and then this drawer we've got a million swaddles and diapers galore. Um, I feel like all the diapers we have mainly are newborn. And then we have this that just came in today. That stuff that people keep giving us. So I need to wash all of that. Um, everything that's in her closet has already been washed and is ready. But yeah, this arrived today and it's our diaper genie, which at first I was like, oh, is that one of those things that you really need? Um, and a lot of the mamas that I talked to was like, yes, <laughs> you should get that. So I was actually impressed at how kind of inexpensive it was. So, And we also have the baby tub, which I don't know if I'll like that one, but you can give it a try. We also have like a noise machine for our shower. It has a really cool kind of light. Obviously not going to stand right there, um, but we're just testing it out. We have another sound machine. Um, I hear parents saying to have more than one for when you travel, you definitely want to keep that, you know, sound up so that basically they feel at home. And then this is the monitor that we got. This was um, basically a hand-me-down from one of our friends. Um, we were just going to get the one that you know, use your phone as a screen. And they were like, no, you don't want that. Cause if you're like out of Wi-Fi or whatever, they're like, this is what you need. Looks really compact. So we need to set that one up. That is it for all like the, I guess, bigger stuff. Obviously didn't go through clothing and all like the little toys and books and that kind of stuff. So yeah, just sitting in the nursing chair now the feeling I will spend a lot of time here. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video interesting, but please go ahead and if you feel like there's something major that I don't have and that I should, please let me know. But yeah, tired and out of breath from filming a 30 minute video. <laughs> so, but yeah, she should be here in about six weeks, which is so crazy to think because I feel like that first trimester just feels like it takes forever. Um, and you're not showing and you know, you're waiting to tell people and it seems like that feels like an eternity and Then second trimester just kind of breezes by because it's when you start to kind of Feel better again, and you have like your energy back. You're no longer sick um, And then third trimester comes and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so uncomfortable But yet time seems to just be flying by anyway, so the nerves are kind of kicking in which I also read is totally normal, but um, equally, of course, if not more excited to finally meet her and for you guys to meet her as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and I think it's so sweet of you guys to like send me messages saying that, you know, you followed me since we were in our teeny tiny condo with my boxes and storage in the background um, and now we're here. About to have a baby so crazy so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys